Dominators, it's me, you, back on the game, yeah, um, today's video, we're talking about State of the Nations, State of the Nations, a lot of people that play the game are familiar with that and may already have read, uh, read through it, it came out yesterday, um, didn't have a chance to make a video the last couple days, but uh, State of the Nations is on their, um, forums is where the where the posts would come up they they had one in april may and you know something like that there's, there's one every couple months especially after an update is released so they can try to reassure everyone of all these gr glorious things they've done for us and that's what this all talks about is stuff we've already seen stuff i've already covered in other videos um just for example you know this is uh this is what they're talking about victory chest new stuff uh general cert blah blah blah, blah. Uh, great leaders in the university uh, talking about it appears that Sejong seems to be the most popular uh, so you can get those archers leveled up which I agree that's what I'm doing as well uh, but here's the interesting part if any of it um, upcoming features two would like to talk about the first is expeditions allows players to send their citizens out of faraway lands okay okay so they're gonna use your citizens even more citizens being used which there's already too many citizens being used the university uh, just cripples your advancement and it basically seems like I'm gonna be on global for 10 years now <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> instant dry throat <clears throat> Goulet, the human torch was denied a bank loan the human torch was denied a bank loan okay and the second feature they like to talk about, blah, 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 here's the cool one though. We will be adding helicopters to the game. And a bit different mechanics than other air troops. What that leads me to believe is airplanes and zeppelins or airships, they fly in, you know, to the from the closest wall border to the point that you target and they do a lap and if they, something gets killed before they get there then they target some other stupid thing and <clears throat> they basically go get shot down pretty quickly um, I'm thinking that the helicopter don't quote me on this but I believe it's probably gonna come in and protect a circle you know so you maybe have a radius of 10 or something like that maybe seven kind of like the decoys new radius but I believe it's gonna come in and stay there and just shoot down enemy troops the whole time um, and it uh, is going to cover you basically sitting there. I don't know. If that makes sense. I don't know how to elaborate on something that I don't, I've never even seen. I'm just speculating on. But I think it's going to come in and just cover an area. So um, we'll see what that is. I'm excited to see about that. And I like being able to use the dock for more than just collecting goods. But I don't have enough citizens to just, uh, you know, send them all over the place all the time. <clears throat> Man, I'm dry. Extra dry today. Okay. Get the mouse out of there. And so where we're at today, that does it for the State of the uh, Nation. State of the Union. We're just going to get caught up with where I'm at so far. Uh, I'm about done with... Oh, look at that. Eight minutes left on that Cherokee upgrade. <clears throat> I'm going uh, Aztecs and Cherokee to level two. I haven't done very many. Well, I've done one other upgrade to a coalition, but... I like the offensive ones, even though defensive may be smarter. Not really sure yet. I just like being able to stomp through anybody. Uh, after that's complete, we're going to troops and upgrading howitzers and then submachine guns. So, and I kind of like the idea of doing submachine guns first, but um, my arties are still doing okay. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll not quite decided on that yet. I had this command post right here on my map. And since it's upgrading from the recent event that they didn't tell anybody about, uh, but I did in my video. Anyway, since it's upgrading, I move it out to the side. Just a little strategy tip. Um, again, I could do that with this cannon tower, but uh, there's really nowhere to put it. So, And I have anti-tanks all guarding the corners. Uh, quickly, before we make an attack, let's take a look at this base I uh, set up. Let's see if I can drop these guys somewhere. Um... Get them off the screen here. Okay. 
this is, I like to just make a new base almost every day uh, because when you're global, you got nothing to do. Am I right? <laughs> uh, anyways, this design incorporates a couple of different things. I like to try to test new new things out, new theories. With the horrible troop pathing and the AI in this game, there's ways that you can kind of get people caught up and stuck when they may think it's an easier base. This looks semi-easy because of the ability. And no base is perfect. I get beat by anybody that's, you know, 20 levels ahead of me every day. Doesn't matter what I use. But um, for the most part, people around my level just are going to avoid this. And people that don't get caught up in it. Um, it does have a semi-exposed setup where you could get to the town center in Forbidden City. I wouldn't recommend bringing uh, foot soldiers with the readouts here. Um, we also have a really good dispersal of mortars on this base. You know, and also our tanks and command posts and stuff like that. Um, people come in, they do survive getting the city center. They're going to come through some traps along the edges and the, the point is when they get down three deep into this their troops are not going to naturally turn around and go back out and get something else like they should they're going to stay and target something in here and just get ate up by uh, cannons we've got all five cannons in the center i also have a monster acropolis reach on this one every single spawning building that can be spawned or boosted is in the radius so that's uh, eight or nine buildings i think five six seven eight nine yeah <clears throat> nine buildings all producing at a good rate there with the boosted uh, spawn time 20% anyways a pretty cool layout and I just like to share one every video now a new one and uh, people can pause and copy or whatever pretty fun I, I rocked it for a few days um, right now my loots are not super high and I don't get attacked with this base very much at all so this is the winner still and I come back to this one until I have one that outperforms it and uh, I've got some other designs in mind that kind of go off of this style but uh, enough about me just kidding that's the purpose of these videos <laughs> see what's upgrading university we've got two and a half more days left on the King Sejong research for the uh, tower damage I think not all right really sure but got to go through the tower upgrades to get to the rifleman Command post, took advantage of the discount. It has five days, four days basically. Four days, or excuse me, six days on the command post, four days on the cannon tower, and a couple days on some ambush traps. Doing some traps lately just because I haven't done them in a while, and they're good to just kind of throw one or two in in the middle of your other stuff. I don't like to have six citizens free, although it's nice to be able to hunt the bears. Two or four citizens is fine, and sometimes it's good to just have them all busy. I mean, you're going to advance better that way, but. Um, Anywho, that's it for that. Uh, okay. I'm going to... <laughs> Let me put it to you like this. I've got one day left on my trial recording program. So I'll probably have to find a new trial after today. So I'm going to make a few videos today. Post them all probably. And uh, this will be the first one, State of the Nations. Talking a little bit about a new layout and just some basic strats. Uh, thanks for watching. It's been fun. I got another video coming out here in just a couple minutes so uh, if you need an alliance or if yours is not doing it for you we have about 30,000 donations per season so uh, it usually takes no more than a minute or so to get troops on top of that uh, it's all positive clean environment and uh, so just come on down to San Fran Tokyo let's see what our capacity is real quick S-A-N-F-R-A-N-T-O-K-Y-O we have space for two more youngsters here we have a minimum medal of 500 until they change the war matchmaking, that's just how it's going to be. Um, we get stacked up against people that stack their decks, so we're going to stack right back at you. That's the only way to compete at this point. So, anywho, thanks again for watching. Peace out. F